Hello, in this video we are going to do a palm rest swap on this uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 3. We are going to replace the palm rest with the keyboard. It's a 10 gen CPU, the laptop. So let's start. The first thing, of course, we have to take out the back cover, remove the battery. After that, we're going to start uh, swapping the, the things from uh, the one piece to the other. We're going to take out all the screws on the back. Use something sharp and just open the back cover. Like this. Now we're gonna take out the battery first, of course. Usually when you do a keyboard replacement, always before proceeding with the swap, test the keyboard first. Now the story with this laptop is uh, the palm rest that we're gonna use is not new. And the customer said that he already tested, so we're gonna sweep this part. Otherwise, just plug in the keyboard, power on the laptop and test all the keys. Now. To make the things a little bit easier, we're gonna remove the whole board part from the display so we can have a better access and we're gonna disconnect the LCD cable. We're gonna take out the Wi-Fi cables. This is a little bit of boring, but if you have this laptop like this, now we're gonna remove the screws on the hinges. Two on each side. Now just slide this and it's out. We're gonna leave the display on the other side. Now we're gonna start transplanting. We're gonna take out the, the hard drive and the Wi-Fi card. Let me try to zoom a little bit like this. Now we're gonna remove the board. After that we're gonna take out the touchpad first. So let's disconnect all the cables. Now the board is held by a few screws. We have two black ones here on the, on the charging port. We 
have to take out the screws on the cooler because one of the screws is holding the board. Now we're gonna leave the board like this. We're gonna leave it on the side. Now we have to take out the touchpad. It's uh, held by two screws here. Let's put it I'm going to put the screws back Now we have to swap the board for the USB Plus the cable, have to remove the speakers. We have one screw here. I hope you can see. Just a second. I am limited in space. This is the board. Those are the speakers. We're going to remove them. We want to put the screw back. Like this. Now we have to put the cable. We're gonna swap the housing for the regular hard drive. And pretty much We strip everything from from the old palm rest. Now we have to we have to put the board back, connect the cables. This is the grounding here for the touchpad. It's a good idea to put it back again. Put the screws back on the board. You can skip this part if you like, it's a little bit boring, but Now we're going to connect the cables. If 
for the touchpad, for the keyboard. Let's put back the fan. We have three screws. The longer one is the one on the board side. The other two are shorter. Now we're gonna put back the hard drive. Yeah, we forgot. We have a we have a piece here which uh, lifts the hard drive a little bit. Just a second. Sorry about that. You have to use this bit here to put it on the We're going to put the thermal pad back. We're going to connect the fan. Now the Wi Fi card, same story. Now we have everything back together. Now we have to put the display. I want to just do the procedure on the reverse like this just close the hinges like this We're gonna put the cable for the display. We're gonna connect the Wi Fi antennas. We're gonna put back the battery and we're gonna test. I say it again this is the boring part, you can skip it.
be careful with the connectors they are very small very fragile we're gonna put back the the battery I have three screws and after that we're gonna power on the laptop now let's open we're gonna power on We have a backlight, we have a logo, and uh, Windows is loading. There is a personal information, so I will hide it. Now the only thing, of course, left is just to plug back the to, to put back the back cover, put the screws, and basically that's the whole procedure. I won't keep you that long. I hope you like the video. This that's it for now. Bye bye.